What's going on guys? Welcome back to channel. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, uh, me and Johnny are both uh, doing some work on our cars. First off, yes, sir. you're doing maintenance, right? Do maintenance, basic yeah. maintenance. <laughs> you know. He already has his car tuned and everything and he just needs to get his maintenance done. So obviously his car runs forever. So everything's great with the Navy. He went ahead and went with FCP Euro, which is honestly the best way to go about it. Cause you know about that lifetime warranty. Exactly. That's already the done. way to get at it. Um, so for us today, guys, as you guys know, we got the P3 gauges there the other day, but we still need to modify even more. So what he went ahead and ordered from Keys Motorsports is uh, um, the GTS taillights. I absolutely love those taillights. Remember when I had the 435? There is no like aftermarket GTS taillights and uh, some people actually didn't like the first gen uh, GTS taillights. So actually Keys Motorsports has the version 2 which almost looks identical to the actual GTS taillights other than the fact that it doesn't say actually BMW GTS or BMW LED or something on the side of it. Literally the only difference is that it's not going to have any labeling here but other than that it's going to literally look and function like a real GTS Tail light, which is gonna look so 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 good. These are, I believe, the LCI tail lights, LED tail lights. So if you guys actually want these, I'm actually gonna be putting them for sale. I'm gonna do both sets for about $400, so $200 a side. So if you guys want that $400, let me know. Hit me up on my Instagram. These are basically in amazing shape. Again, I'm just upgrading because I want the GTS tail lights on here. So for those of you guys who have Jonathan's tail lights, <laughs> Jonathan does. <laughs> and for those of you guys who have Jonathan's tail lights, make sure to upgrade them because honestly, these are nice. I, I actually pretty much have this on the 435. There's nothing wrong with them. There's really nothing wrong with them. They're like the 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 e chassis, the the pre and LCI was a big difference on this car. These are not bad, but these are way nicer. <laughs> so for those of you guys who want some original OEM authentic M3 LCI tail lights, hit me up. Only $400 for both sides. They will come absolutely complete. I'm not going to disconnect anything from them. So you get them exactly how you see them. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade to the best of the best, which is the GTS taillights, oh buddy, I am hyped. What we also have in this video, guys, we're not only doing the GTS taillights, but we're also gonna go ahead and do the skid plate. So the skid plate's basically for the oil cooler in the front. For those of you guys who don't know, on the M3s, I don't know if you guys can see it through this vent, but there is a cooler down there. Yeah, you guys can see that cooler down there. It's literally facing the ground, and anything that goes underneath here can actually dent your oil, oil cooler. So this little skid plate has vents that allow air to go into the oil cooler, but at the same time protect it from any big pieces damaging it, causing us to leak oil and actually starving our motor from any oil issues. And for those of you guys who are wondering uh, if we're gonna be tuning the car, we're definitely gonna be tuning it. Um, we're just, again, getting the crank cup done. I already booked my appointment with SSR Performance, so we are waiting for that to get done. We're actually doing an exhaust mod when we get to SSR Performance as well, so I'm super, super, super excited. If you guys are excited for this build as well, make sure to smash the like button because I'm going full send on this, like I promised. So hopefully, sometime next month we're going to be doing uh the crank hub and hopefully doing that exhaust modification but in the meantime uh, and then we'll do the, we'll do the tuning and all the good stuff after that but in the meantime guys let's go ahead and do some more aesthetic modifications guys i'm just realizing something i need some new trunk shots <laughs> anywho so it should be good enough to at least keep it up for the most part the first thing we're gonna have to do is actually just remove all these so what i like about these now is that you no longer have to just like pry on the back of it it's just like a phillips you unscrew it then pull them all off so let's go ahead and get this bad boy off so then we can access these tail lights. So yeah, guys, we got everything off at this point. Oh my God, I just love this color so much. At this point, guys, we were just gonna go ahead and disconnect this. Oh, it looks like Jonathan just finished his oil change. Yeah, go ahead and disconnect this sensor right here. And then uh, I think we just take out this bolt and this whole thing just comes out. Some easy stuff. Honestly, doing tail lights is one of the easier mods also. Um, they are, it's, it is more labor intensive, but it's still very easy. Like nothing hard that I'm doing here. Nothing takes any crazy tools. There's a Phillips head and a flat head, and that's all you need. And you can pretty much replace all of this. I don't know why I just got the crazy idea that I kind of want to do a cake in this car <laughs> i'm just thinking i'm doing everything to this car already should we do a cage let me know down below should we do some kind of custom cage if so what cage All right, guys, so now that we have these tail lights out, which is honestly the harder two, um, to remove this one's actually really easy. I think you just twist this. You can either do it by your hand, I think. Eh, eh. And this whole thing should just come out. Oh, I think I just tightened it. Did I? Oh, no, I didn't. There you go. Bada bing. There's two screws. <laughs> I think that's all really there. That's all there is to it. Um, I think there is a, maybe a wire that we need to move as well, but uh, easy stuff. Guys, this thing is super easy. Two screws and the cable is right back here. Just 
Just like that, guys, we have all the tail lights out. Let me go ahead and show you guys the new tail lights real quick. I am super excited to see these myself. Let me go ahead and wash my hands, make sure they're clean, but oh my god. All right, guys, so first off, what I love about it is the packaging. So if we go ahead and pop these bad boys out, we got the GTS tail lights from Keys Motorsports. Again, the packaging is really, really, really nice, just to make sure nothing gets damaged. Actually, these looks like they have a slight tint to them as well, right? It does, doesn't it? Oof. That looks crazy oh good. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Look at that. Dude, right it there. feels like such high quality. That's really good. There are resistors, which I, I typically don't see in OEM ones, but I mean, I, I don't think it's gonna be too big of a deal. Uh, there's a bunch of different connectors as well. We're going to figure this out in a little bit. But yeah, that is the actual, uh, that's the one on the trunk. And this right here, guys, this bad boy. Oh my God, dude. That looks crazy good. <laughs> dude, that's insane. Oh my God, bro. It looks like so OEM, dude. Now, as you guys can see, it doesn't clearly say BMW uh, LED or GTS or whatever it is, because if you guys want the original ones, I think they're like 10 grand. They're so expensive. Yeah, they're like 10, like they're like five to 10 grand. So I see some people on Instagram flexing uh, that little little detail right there, which honestly, I'm all about details, but I'm not about spending 10 grand compared to no, like it's not you know, a few hundred bucks. So these honestly look really good in pictures. I'm really hoping they look really good in person. I'm super excited to install these. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get it in. Actually looking at these two guys, actually what's super nice about it, so you don't have to do any coding. This one says 2013 to 2015. This one says 2016 and up. So this is actually for my car. And if we were to put on Jonathan's, we'd actually use the other connector. Exactly. Uh, so yeah, actually, so that's what's super nice about it. It has the, wire, the proper wiring to where you don't have to do any coding, uh, which is really nice. So yeah guys, we're just gonna go ahead and just feed the wire through here. Ah, just go ahead and pop it in there and uh, just feed it as much as you can, honestly, because we want less wire over here, more inside the trunk, because the trunk gets covered up, this part, not so much. Bro, dude, <laughs> bro, that looks so good, dude. Crazy, dude. So now that we have the wire through there, as you guys can see, I pretty much just pushed the tab over the wire. Um, now this probably, this is probably the only way that's gonna work, honestly. Yeah. It is what it is. It's so, fine. It uh, works. as for this wire, guys, we're just gonna keep feeding it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just feed it with this. So now we can go ahead and push the carpet back in. Try to make this as OEM as possible. You know how your boy is OEM and stuff. As for this side, we're just gonna go ahead and put all the wires straight through. Should be pretty easy. Um, also with this, don't forget there's a little guiding pin, guys. It actually goes right in there. So make sure that goes in first before you feed it all the way in. Because if you don't, you see how there's a gap there, guys? Okay. Now that it's all the way in there, uh, again, I think this one that's a pre-LCI and LC, oh, actually, no. No, there isn't. So this one goes straight into here. Just like that. Now that that's connected, um, this is just a resistor, so we can just place it anywhere on here on the trunk. So I might actually just even place it right there. Should be fine. Shout out to them for actually putting 3M on these. Honestly. It makes life a whole lot easier. But uh, we do have this connection right here and I know what that goes to. That goes to the actual tail light. So uh, yeah, buddy. Cool, cool. Perfect. Um, now if you guys have any like Teflon tape or something to wrap this up to make it look as original as possible, that would be ideal. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I'm gonna use like zip ties or something to just kind of keep it where it needs to be. Um, or I would zip tie it around here though. Yeah, like around the wire. Yeah, not yeah. the actual. Yeah, not the actual thing itself. So yeah. I'll come back to y'all when I have this all. Hold on, Dia. I don't think Dia understand how these tail. He came out. Dia was like, "Does it go like this?" Hold on, hold on, <laughs> guys. I want you guys to see the eyes. Bro, see, just see. I, I, uh, let me record I this. Even doing it. Uh. <laughs> let me record this. This is too funny, bro. I was like, it goes, it goes sideways. Yeah, it goes like sideways. Out to be like the noob or something. Well, well I mean, dude. you don't know what you're talking about. You're, you're a humble, nice dude. You're but. humble. That's that's the key. You're humble. Thank you. So you don't know everything, which is good. <laughs> is that messed up? <laughs> humble. Oh, so this must be the the Power Cable 2000. That's it. <laughs> it's, actually, it's, it's actually 3,000. Oh. He said Power Cable 2,000. Right. Oh, no, it's right. 3,000, fam. Come on. You know, are you ready? Yeah, I'm more. Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Hey, guys, are you ready for Diaz's reaction? Ready for Diaz's reaction? It's either going to be so lame or it's going to be pretty awesome. Okay. Yeah, stand deal? closer. Stand closer. <laughs> I got to get your reaction, fam. Oh, my God. Guys, this is going to look so good. I didn't finish. I really want to put the whole truck together before doing this, but I mean, let's just go ahead and do it. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> 
It, it looks so it's good, bro. Show, bro. bro it's, it's, a, it's a show. show. Like it's literally you crazy. Pull up to like a restaurant, and just do it. You're like just gonna keep looking at it, bro. It went, Thirty seconds. All right, then I'm it was that. like three stages. It was yeah, like from dude, light dude. to you know like middle and then full blast. It was like what the heck, <laughs> bro? It's, it's literally. Crazy. I'm wow. so happy with this. Let's go ahead and just reassemble the entire trunk. Hopefully it's gonna be pretty easy. Uh, we do have a couple of things we need to, uh, you know, get out of the way, but uh, three, two, one. All right, guys, we finally have all the weather stripping and everything back where it needs to be. So just a little friendly tip, guys. Uh, the wire that goes from this tail light to this tail light, make sure that most of it is actually down there. I had most of it zip tied up here. And what I realized when you put this plastic piece back on and try to close the trunk, it won't shut because the wire needs, to, there needs to be a lot of extra wire in there for the trunk to close. It needs to like pull it back if you guys know what I mean. So uh, just a little friendly tip. Uh, I had to take this apart twice, but as you can see, I'm letting it down easy. There's no resistance, which is perfect obviously there's a little bit of resistance because of the shock and honestly it's really weak like i need i need to upgrade my shocks <laughs> anywho guys guys these look so good it literally turned this m3 into like an m3 gts obviously it's not it's not no gts i don't even think there's an m3 gts in the first place but it looks really good and i'm absolutely in love with these tail lights so yeah guys if you guys want those m3 gts tail lights make sure to check out that link down below from keys motorsports make sure to use my code uh for one for those of you guys who actually want the oem ones i mean obviously i prefer the gts ones but for for those of you guys who are kind of like OEM type of people and prefer the original LEDs, the OEM style, these are OEM BMW LCI taillights from an F80M3. So if you guys want this, I'm actually gonna be packaging it up in the same box that these taillights came in. So it'll be packaged really well for one of you guys. So make sure to hit me up on my Instagram if you guys want this. It's gonna be $400. I'm honestly just selling all my old stuff because it's gonna be a lot of money getting this thing registered, getting the crank hub done, doing a couple other things, paying the whole front end. So honestly, I'm just gonna be selling my stock parts. Normally, I know I shouldn't, but I am just because I need the money. As you guys can see, I'm kind of sending it really hard on this car. So uh, any money that I could get would benefit the channel. So, uh, you know, that just helps us get more mods on the channel. Now, the next thing I want to go ahead and do is install that oil cooler cover, that little tray on the bottom that protects the oil cooler. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys what that is. It's also from Keys Motorsports. Let me go ahead and just pull the car inside. Let me know what you guys thought about these taillights. They just look super, super, super good. Even when they're off, guys, they just look absolutely amazing. Honestly, it really looks like an OEM taillight, which looks really good. It's just obviously right over here. It doesn't say anything OEM, but I mean, hey, for the money, this is absolutely amazing. Like I said, guys, if you guys want to cop these from Keys Motorsports, link down below. Our next mod is going to be helping us once we hit the track, boys. So this actually, our car actually has one exactly like this, but in plastic. And it's very, very, very like brittle. It's really easy to break, really. I mean, I, I mean for example, like when I bought my M4, uh, my oil cooler was damaged. And then when I had my M4, I damaged my oil cooler. So the, this is actually going to help me prevent damaging my oil cooler, causing any engine issues to my car. This, guys, is from Turner Motorsports. It absolutely looks amazing. Amazing, super high quality. What I love about it also is that it has like this kind of cushion uh, for the oil cooler to make sure the oil cooler is not getting like any uh, any excessive force. And if there's anything that will happen to the car, it won't like metal will not push against the oil cooler. It'll actually uh, push this rubber thing to the oil cooler and just push it up instead of damaging it. So this is absolutely amazing. It's gonna definitely come handy when we actually go down to the track. This is from Keeps Motorsports from Turn Mo Turner Motorsports. So uh, yeah, guys, the link down below for this as well. This is actually a very easy install. Hopefully, hopefully the lift doesn't get in the way. But uh, let's go ahead and jack up the car and hopefully, like I said, easy install. Also, for those of you guys who didn't know, the previous owner, my boy Nick, actually installed some KW lowering springs. And these aren't some like normal lowering springs. These are adjustable lowering springs. Kind of crazy to say. I've never actually heard of that before. I don't really know how it works. But uh, yeah, they are adjustable lowering springs, which is pretty cool in the KW. So uh, I think that's pretty awesome to have. We're probably going to end up upgrading that down the road. But for now, I'm super happy. It's not some cheap kind of springs or some cheap coilovers. These are some pretty good springs. 
so to take you guys underneath the car, let me go ahead and show you guys how the original one looks like. As you guys can see, it's actually still there, shockingly. <laughs> we have the original one, and uh, yeah, the carbon fiber uh, lip is unfortunately covering up a little bit of it. So there is a few screws that we're gonna have to access like right down there. We have one screw over here, there's one screw on the other side, there's actually one screw behind this thing. I'm actually just gonna loosen this up and then put my hand behind there and just get that other screw out here. But yeah, there's one screw over here, I believe it's a 13 millimeter. There is one, two, three, four, um, oh yeah, five and six. And then there's another one here, another one here, and same on the other side, guys. Without further ado, let's go ahead and remove this flimsy plastic one. the Turner Motorsports skid plate on there and the way the seal sits on the oil cooler is so 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 perfect it looks super good at the same time now I know my oil cooler is protected so I'm super happy about that but yeah I guess without further ado let's go ahead and do a little cinematic of the new mods boys Guys, we're officially back home. This is the next morning. I know we have a casual set of tires sitting in our, uh, just in our, basically our living room, but, uh, or front door, whatever you want to call it. It is what it is. We're car people, you know? Uh, we have more, some more car things in there. Any hoozles? Uh, hey, what's going on, Muffin? We're shaking, bacon. Hey, how you doing? You know, things about cats, guys, that I'm realizing is that, you know, training them might be the hardest thing in the world. Um, just because, like, honestly, they're just, <laughs> they just do what they want, you know, but she's so adorable. I absolutely love her. We got her so much toys and, like, she literally gets over the stoop. Like, she'll, she'll have fun with stuff like this. Like, I don't even know what this is. Like, she will literally play with anything, which is crazy. What's going on, baby? What's going on, Muffin? How you doing? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I absolutely love this girl. But yeah, this isn't a cat channel. I just wanted to show you guys how Muffin is. She's growing pretty quickly. She's about, I think, 12 weeks now. So uh, yeah, she's chilling like a villain. I have some pretty crazy news also coming up. Not to mention, obviously, we're gonna be heading down to LA pretty soon. And we're gonna be spending a week out there. And we're not just doing a crank up. We're doing a couple of things to the F8 that I've never done before in some other cars. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. But at the same time, I'm also gonna be hosting my first car meet with Showman Motors. Showman Motors and me are tagging along. We finally been we've been talking about this for a couple months now. And we're finally gonna be arranging a car meet at his shop because he has all the space we need and at the same time he is a BMW oriented person I'm a BMW oriented person so I think it's gonna be super fun to get all the communities together out there and I'll be bringing the i8 and I'll be bringing the F80 both down there so I think it's gonna be pretty sick especially meeting some of you guys you guys can finally actually see both cars you can tell me in person whether or not the i8 is beautiful or not because a lot of people don't like the i8 but I think it's an absolutely amazing car but anyway guys I'll keep you guys posted when the date comes up I'll be posting it on my Instagram and I'll be posting it on here make sure to follow me on my Instagram because all the latest news we posted on there first so make sure to hit me up on my Instagram follow me down below but without further ado guys that's gonna pretty much conclude the video if you guys want to cop the GTS tail lights or the Turner Motorsports skip play make sure to check out keys motorsports down below don't forget to use my code without further ado guys I love y'all so much remember to stay humble I'll see you guys in the next one peace out